in Hindi they say that it's, a, it's a, him, him means uh, snow and uh, Ale means uh, say a board of snow. So they look at uh, not only snow but also look at in, in that God also. Himalaya is a Sanskrit word. Uh, him means ice, uh, Alaya means house. So it is um, uh, him means ice or snow. So it's a kind of a snow house. Uh, and Himalaya in general is seen uh, by Nepali people um, and which, uh, which is shared among different cultural groups that Himalaya are kind of a granny store. So I, I come from uh, Pokhara area and so they have named uh, a Himalayan range uh, up north is Annapuna. Annapuna means uh, granny store. So, so snow is considered as, uh, as a grain. Uh, because of his, uh, because of its distant role uh, in in producing grain, because snow eventually becomes water, goes to river, uh, it irrigates and produces food. I'm saying all mountain regions of the world they are always seen in terms of altitudinal transects, means a change in altitude. But Himalayas is an exception in the sense that it has a huge east to west arc uh, uh, width. It's about 2,500 kilometer. And uh, along the arc, you can find all kinds of civilizations, religions, almost all, all, the, all the four principal religions of the, say, globe, means uh, Islam, uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity, you can find in that, that whole arc. Of course, um, uh, people move uh, uh, across the Himalayas, um, along the Himalayan range. Uh, and they have been doing so, not only now, since past. So if you look into, for example, the uh, settlement of people in Nepal, so from about, say, um, 11th, 12th century, the movement is from west to east. Uh, major flow of people. There were indigenous people in different locations, but the major flow of people took place uh, west to east. Uh, and that shows that it's not only um, north-south. And in this process, they have taken uh, new knowledge from one area to another, new plants, bio, uh, biological things, seeds, and so it has spread from uh, uh, east to west. And then uh, you can see that there's, there's several eco, uh, say, environmental gradients. One of them, for example, if you have a, say, if you consider it Stranahimal in some part, Meghale, then you have a rainfall, something about 10,000 centimeter. And then you can find some of the biggest rain shadow areas in Tibet of the world. And then it enables you to look at the whole. And that perhaps would give you many, many new ideas, which uh, generally people uh, have, uh, don't get opportunity to, to look at. I look at this uh, Himalayan, uh, Ail Himalayan initiative as a, as a major, say, step uh, in the direction of developing knowledge in the sense that uh, Himalayas provide several ecological questions, biological, anthropogenic questions. And uh, this is a good idea, I'm say, to really think about uh, uh, considering Himalayas as a system for doing this kind of research. In order to better uh, manage resources, improve the condition, uh, we also need uh, science. Science and the traditional knowledge, uh, they have to combine together in order to improve the situation. So um, with this institution, uh, I think we can do some scientific research, which has a good expertise here uh, with local uh, researchers, uh, and then find out the, uh, the solution. We are cautiously, we are trying to really uh, make our own way and raise questions which are big, which encompass uh, the whole arc, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, it should be feasible and re should be realistic approach. So it has it's just taking time, but I'm glad that uh, uh, we are we have we have reached the point where from where we can think that uh, we will have a proposal which has some meaning uh, to funding agencies. Uh, and I think it's a good initiative. They were, I think they were both uh, learning in both ways. Uh, so the scholars here can also learn from uh, people, especially people. Uh, how they have been uh, managing resources, their traditional knowledge, uh, their knowledge that help to keep the biodiversity uh, so far intact, 
and these are very important things. Biodiversity in Himalayan region is useful uh, to the whole world. See. So uh, it's ben beneficial for both, I think. Um, the Himalayan problems are such that uh, uh, they require an interdisciplinary perspective to understand them and uh, to, to find out any solution. So a single disciplinary approach cannot cannot be enough for that. My concern has been that uh, we have we never could achieve research which uh, considers both biophysical, cultural and social aspects. So it, it's, it has been a very challenging area. I have not seen any a paper which really represents both in a balanced way. So I thought that uh, uh, this approach of uh, the, the courage Aid University and, the, and its collaborators are showing uh, have shown that uh, they, they can really take up this kind of study. I think uh, it's, it's remarkable.